All right, we're gonna get started here in just a second. Um, let me post this on Kirby Facts here. So I actually did not know the Kirby Star Allies demo was out. Um, so this is probably pretty old or something, I don't know. Uh, but it's new to me, so, oh, my controller died. So apparently the Wii U um, Pro Controller it, like discharges when you're not using it. Like, f faster than I would expect. I guess it has been a while. I guess it's been, <clears throat> like, a couple months since I last played my Switch, but still. I guess it's no Wii U Pro Controller. That thing lasts like 80 hours. It's completely ridiculous in a good way. Hey, Grayson, Sloth, and uh, Celestial Gaming. I can figure it out. See, so yeah, I'm really excited for Kirby Star Allies, as you might expect. Oh. It's been so long since a Kirby console game. I guess the last one was uh, Return to Dreamland. And that was kind of like the whole point of that game was like, dang, it's been a while since Kirby was on console, huh? And I love those backgrounds. Look at that waterfall in the background. I really like the backgrounds and it's kind of like an extension of the uh, presentation style from Return to Dreamland. I think so shiny. Hello, sir. Those Bronto Burts look like slippery. I don't know if I trust them. Does anybody have um, Kirby Battle Royale? It's like a mini game collection sort of deal. I played the demo for that. I'd stream that, but I can't record my DS. Um, is that worth the 40 bucks though? Like it seemed more substantial than I thought it was. But it still seems not $40 worth. Especially not since I don't really like playing on um, 3DS anymore. I'm so glad this feature is back. This was so cool in uh, Superstar. Aww. You could, you know, make little buddies of the enemies. and it, it almost made it more fun to be the second player, honestly. And that was so cool in um, Kirby Superstar Ultra, they added a mode where you, it was like an arena mode for the helpers. So you could finally be the helpers, like if you were a single player. Um, which, for a few characters, they actually play a little bit differently. Like Plasma Wisp just floats freely and is invincible, I, if I recall correctly, in uh, defending mode. Oh yeah, and there was Tack. Tack is absolutely nothing like Copy. Attack was really fun to play as. Really OP too. I actually heard of the demo because of the direct. I it was probably it released like a long time ago, but let me check the uh controlling friends. Oh, what's my power? Oh there we go. Oh, it's like, um, it's like Squeak Squad then. Huh. A friend can add an effect. Interesting. Sword being multi-sword. Pretty standard sword stuff. I don't suppose you can add, wait, how do I... Oh, you just hold up. Okay, there's no bomb sword then. Okay. Oh, there's little, like, partner puzzles. Get out of here, get out these. Oh, I like the thing at the top there, the little controls on screen. That's a neat little accessibility hatch. I wonder if you can turn it off. Amiibo. Yeah, you can add picture pieces. Um, let me grab an amiibo to try this out. Uh, I got Waddle Dee over here. There we go. 
what are puzzle pieces for? Is it like that thing on on 3DS where you get pieces? Where do you? Maybe it's just not in the demo. Well, it lets you get them in the demo. I've actually been avoiding trailers and stuff for this, so it, it's. Oh, hey, now I can get like fire sword. Oh, sweet! So one of the more annoying things. Oh, hey, you can have two, like, partner friends. Can I still bounce off their heads. The feature was more troublesome than it was helpful anyway. Um, yeah, one of the annoying things in Superstar was that in order to create a new a friend, you had to give up the ability. Oh, so other things can... Oh, that's cool. That's really cool. I didn't know about the, uh, the, the combo things. Yeah, that's like... Uh, you can even burn the foreground just like... Uh, I think it was Squeak Squad that did that first. Does it like go away after a while or do you get to keep it? I guess you get to keep it, at least for a while. That's cool, because this is like... In, um, in Squeak Squad, it would only last for like one attack, and it's like... It was required to get a couple of things, but... Um, it just felt kind of like... What's the point? It was really neat, but like it'd be very impractical. But uh, with this, it seems a lot more fun. Especially since you have, if you have like a fire partner, you can just get fire at any time. Whereas in Squeak Squad, you had to have environmental fire. I love all the texturing of the foreground stuff. I love little things like this. It kind of teaches you that, yeah, you can run across little brief gaps in here. I like when games kind of... It's a tutorial, but without, like, explaining it to you. You just kind of figure it out. So. What puzzle pieces? Like the, um... I'm guessing they're kind of like the, uh, the keychains, I guess, in the uh, 3DS games. And I did... I see Nintendo and Direct. No, I was working. I did. Uh, I did hear about it though. I was in my Discord and seeing people's reactions. So I know. I know pretty much what they talked about. Yeah, I, I had a Wii U, so half of the stuff is like, well, I have those. But still cool for people that. Uh... What is this? Okay. Oh, okay. There we go. This guy. Oh, and I hear that you can, uh, you can make Chef Kawasaki, uh, be a partner in this. I don't know if there's other arbitrary, like, enemies you can do that with, but... That's probably not. I mean, Chef Kawasaki is, like, an enemy with a power, so... Oh, yeah, I heard about the Smash thing. I'm not, I'm not the biggest <laughs> Smash fan, so... I, I know everyone else is excited, but I'm, I'm glad other people are excited. Burn and Leo, come on. Maybe they're like the. No, they can't possibly be the uh, like 100% completion item, right? It's like it'd be weird to tie that to an amiibo. My YouTube name has nothing to do with it, Mister. I've explained this many times. I've been Sir Tap Tap for about nine years. Even if my name wasn't Sir Tap Tap, I would never change it to be Tap Tap because of that game. Because I absolutely hate the name Tap Tap Fish. It's terrible. Oh whoa! Oh, huh, that's cute. I'm sure a lot of these features were shown in trailers and stuff, but I, I've been avoiding trailers because, like, when I know I'm gonna buy a game, I don't want to see trailers and stuff for it. I just want to, I just want to get the game and play it. And with any Kirby game, like, there's a point I reach. Do your thing, Burn and Leo. Um, there's a point I reach in games where I decide, you know, I'm definitely gonna buy this, so I'm not gonna watch any more stuff. And so with anything Kirby, that's just, like, immediately. Like, I need to know the name. Or, like, I need to know there's a new Kirby game that's about it. 
Kirby doesn't. I, I don't. Kirby does not have shoes. Those are feet. That's all there really is to that. Like, why would he wear shoes if he has no other clothes? I like how responsive the AI are, like... I guess it's not really, like, technically impressive or anything, but... I just have memories of how useless the AI was in, uh, Superstar. They, they kind of genuinely make the game harder, because when you have a partner in Kirby Superstar, uh, bosses actually have more health, and they don't really deal enough damage to, um, keep it up. Oh, I know, I know the picture speaking of. I refuse to ever post it on uh, Kirby Facts. Oh, let me see if I'm sure this is it. I kind of like the um, the superstar version of the fire thing, where Kirby's just like unpleasantly on fire. I like the little comic dots. I don't know if there's a word for those, but the little, like, comic print dot kind of things it has going on. Sea ring burn. Fireball spin. Oh, there we go. I kind of I kind of want to be Jim. Or I, I kind of want to be you. Maybe I'll respawn. Oh, I, I think that's Wispy. Give me yes, yes. It's been too long since Yo Yo. Now, let me see if it has any new stuff. For Yo Yo. Yo-Yo throw, orbit, walk the dog, dog, walk the dog, Kirby spin, dash be in the air, hammer drop, either spiral. Oh, yeah, that thing. Oh, you can set your yo-yo on fire. <laughs> Am I switching Christmas and only games I have Mario Odyssey and Zelda? What should I get next? I think about Spot 2 too. Um... Splatoon 2 is good. Uh, let's see what I got. Uh, Mighty Gunvolt Burst is really good. Um, <clears throat> it's a, it's kind of like a classic Mega Man game with more um, classic, as in you know the NES ones with uh, with some more customization options and you know, um, and that's by Inti Create. So they make really good Mega Man games. Um, Brave Dungeon I really like. That I don't know why the Dark Witch platformers aren't on Switch yet though. They're like the main parts of the series, and they're not on there yet. It's a little weird. Hello, Parker. Yes. I'm doing things. Uh, Rhyme's pretty good. I got Cave Story, Axiom Verge. Um, uh, Kamiko is like just five bucks, and it's this neat little, like, kind of speedrunning focused uh, little action puzzle thing. I don't know how to describe it exactly, but it's pretty neat. You have clumps. I'm sorry, I'm declumping. He has fluff clumps. They must be removed. I'm helping you. There you go. Um, <clears throat> Gersal Explosion Machine's pretty good too. I need to do a video of that sometime. Yes! Yes, yes! Of course, Cave Story is a classic, but you probably already know about Cave Story. Murr. Murr. <laughs> yes, hello! I want to turn up mic a bit. I can do that. Okay, how about that? <clears throat> Would you? Ugh. It's 
I really like the element system in this. It feels like they do a lot more with the, uh... They can do a lot more with the partner thing due to the elements and stuff. And the little puzzles. Oh, hello. He's evil wispy again. happens to do during boss fights or something? I didn't do anything to make that happen. I just kind of decided. Yes, I know. Yes, hello. Poor Wispy. Oh, he had evil hearts. <laughs> Poor Wispy. <laughs> yes, I know, Parker. Oh, they all get to do the dance, too. <clears throat> Evil heart. Yes, I know. Mm. Yes, hi. Oh, so it is like the um, the uh, puzzles on. Yeah, it's exactly like the puzzles in uh, on 3DS. It even has the different colored pieces. Let me guess. The amiibo are guaranteed to be the, the, the pieces that are the better color or something. Oh, right. Artist is an ability now. I didn't see the spider one. That's cool. Water is alright, it's poison I didn't like. Poison was just kind of water, but slightly different. I should probably pre-order this already. The water is pretty good. I mean, it does enable all life to exist. Oh dang, it comes out in like a week! I should probably go and pre-order that. You are a fluffy man. Yes! Do not kick. Do not kick. I should go and pre-order that. Is there a second stage to do? Castle cave stage. I'm surprised this by this trend of Kirby demos, because um, I like, I like this area. Um, what am I trying to say? Oh, there's water. Oh, hey, it keeps your duders from the other thing. Um. What are you doing? What was Water's, like, enemy in... I don't even remember what Water's enemy was in, uh... I think it was, like, a Water... One of those little fire-breathing dudes, but they were just water-breathing, so... Oh, there's Kaboo. It's neat that Water has its own enemy now, not just a palace swap. Oh, huh. You can unfriend. Rest in peace. Can I make an ability, or can I make friends from? Oh, okay, you can. You gotta drop it and then make friend of it. Oops, that's not what I meant to do. 
Um, can I? Excellent. Gift. Let's see if there's anything new with water. Powered up version of the water gun. Here we go. Yeah, I, I like any ability that lets you, like, augments your movement abilities in pretty much any game. So, the cool thing about water is it can kind of do, you know, this thing. And Ice used to let you ice skate. Uh, it probably still does, but in Kirby Superstar you can ice skate. I'm supposed to use water. Wait, can I be frozen or something? Like, let me... Was there an ice guy? Water is an element too. I should have kept the the ice guy. Oh, there's ice. Okay. Freeze me. Can I not? Oh. Okay. I guess the only things that have like a weapon can be um. Makes sense. I was wondering if you could be like, fr I guess it wouldn't make much sense to be like frozen water derby because that's just, wouldn't that just be ice? I, I spotted Major Slowdown in that new Dion game reveal. That's the one thing nobody talked about. There's a new Dion rolling western game. I, I never played that. I don't know exactly, I don't know much, anything about that game, honestly. I know that he's like an armadillo and that's about it, honestly. Yeah, I'll be rocking. Let's see if it has anything interesting. Oh, Uppercut is still here. Oh, wait, 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 wait! Oh, you can combine! I didn't- I was- <laughs> Ice curling?! Oh, that's awesome. Do I stay as a curling bot? Oh no, I gotta do it every time, I guess. <laughs> That's neat. I need more elements. This is almost like um, Kirby 64 in terms of like ability mixing. Like, it's a bit more like the Squeak Squad thing, but like more powered up or something. are in this. I see a Sir Kibble. I see... I see Kirby. I see... What is the... Oh, it's the Whip Dude! It's the Whip Dude. I don't even know what that guy's name is. Oh, neither. It gives you... I like when games give you, like, context-aware... Um... It's DDD. Um... Context of where loading screen hits, like, you know. Loading screen's about the equipment you're using. It looks like this game does that, because it gave me some tips for stone. Unless I was just lucky. Zagra just confirmed Swash Switch is a new game, not a port. Huh. That's a surprise. Though, I mean, it is Nintendo. It is not the same game, not the same content, Nintendo. So, I mean, I don't really care either way. It's, it's Smash for Nintendo Switch, that's all. Like, 90% of people are gonna care about it, so. That is some good water. Grayson, I, I, what, what is your deal with water? You can't tell me you can see this luscious waviness and not wanna take a dip in there. Mario Wii U. I hope I hope Mario Wii U 
You should be given like a complimentary switch and like a website for reviewing. <laughs> I love when games do that. They kind of subdue the music a little bit when you're in the water. Ooh, 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 I wanna, I want fire, friend. Make me, make me firestone. What is that? Oh, it's Box Boy! Oh my gosh! Yeah, that's Box Boy, that's another game by Hal. Uh, I need to get the, well, maybe I'll wait for a Switch for it. I wonder what the rare statues are for this game. Oh, splash curling. Okay, so they're all curling like, abilities. That's what I need. I need fire. Oh, I have fire already. What friend, friend ability. Oh, I see. That's what you need. Okay. So that's just a friend ability, I guess. Oh, I see. Oh, that's neat. So are these? Oh. So this is like super special puzzle pieces that are non-random, I assume? Oh, there's Muscle Boy! We gotta have Muscle Boy. Let's see what other statues we got here. Do we have the Animal Friends ones? Whoa. <laughs> I guess that's a Squeak's a reference. That's Dark Nebula within one of those treasure chests from Squeak Squad. There's that classic stone Kirby. I think that's one of the like... What is that? Is that like one of the... Final like weapon things? Is that Bell? I can't tell quite what I'm looking at here. Hey capitalist! I wish I could zoom in. Is it like... Oh, here we go. Oh, it's kind of zoomed in. Oh, oh, it's the fish! When, when you're a uh, super sword in um, Return to Dreamland. Wait, is that, is that hat? Did he really wear a hat like that? Friends, you're kind of making it hard to view the things. So glad they added the uppercut so you could fight bosses properly. Ish. With stone. Oh! That was uh, Magalore for just a second there. Oh, hey! This is the HAL logo. That must be one of the rare ones. There's usually like um, the bronze statue is fairly rare, and then there's like gold and silver ones, like in. Superstar, I think it was Samus. Um, Samus, a Mario statue. I forget if there was a third one. Was there a Hell logo in? I don't think there was a Hell logo in Superstar, was there? Oh, hey, there's the Robo Robobot robot. Yeah, that Hell logo one is probably like, that's probably the rarest one or one of the rarest ones. There is um, Grill and someone I can identify. That's from Star Stacker. That's Grill, the final boss from Star Stacker. There's DDD. Saw him before. Oh, there's, um, like two of them. There's Taranza, and I don't know who the other one's supposed to be. That's another Taranza? What is... Was there another one? I don't know who that's supposed to be. 
Some people have done like, oh, I just noticed Magalore is holding the crystal apples from that that free game. Not really the best Kirby game by any means, but uh... oh hey, oh my gosh, that's um that's the Eagle dude from uh, Meta Nightmare and Meta Knight, obviously. <laughs> I don't think we've ever seen him from the neck down before either, huh? Welcome back to the stream, I guess, Assassin. I I welcome people as long as you're not being idiots. It's not the hugest deal if you've been dumb in the past, as long as it's not repeated, I guess. So that was two gold statues. I don't know how many different gold statues there are, but there's probably not too much rare stuff that we haven't found. That's enough statues. Friend actions. Friend platforms. Oh, you know what? Oop. No, I actually don't want to. Um, get rid of that. I want to see what I can combine with Cutter. Be a frosty boy. Yeah, we saw the Robobot one a couple times. <laughs> I like that it like you know, it freezes the terrain and stuff. <laughs> Become Kirby Century. Friend Circle. So that's what that one um, statue is referencing. Oh, there's those little fox things! Oh, there's Grizzo. Rest in peace. Oh, rip. Which <laughs> is the boss is gonna have one hit KO if the one for Wispy is a one time Easter egg? Oh, is there a one-hit KO for Wispy? What do you do? You get a spark cutter and sword or something. I should probably pay attention to it. What am I looking at? Spark cutter, bomb, and sword using the water do. Oh, cool. Everybody has fire with speed ties immediately. <laughs> really? Huh. This is suspicious placing. Oh, I guess it gives you a partner so you can open partner doors, because it yeah, this is probably one of those split levels. Oh, there's still game overs. Kirby officially more hardcore than Mario. Poor Wispy. It wouldn't surprise me if he's the only one with a one hit KO. Yeah, we'll do that in as soon as we beat this level. There's more to this demo than I was expecting, honestly. Um, I figured we'd be done in like 10 minutes. Of course, I am dawdling to, you know, check everything out, but... <laughs> I like how the, 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 the star lamps have little filaments in them. It's neat to see a Kirby game with this, this level of detail. Ominous lack of music. Oh, hey, it's fighting Joe. Wait, 
No, actually, I want, or Knuckle Joe, whatever his name is. Whichever Joe he is. <laughs> that same punch sound effect from 64. Pfft. Oh, come on, DDD. Oh no, is it Swole DDD? Is this the game with Swole DDD or was that the other one? No, I think this is Swole DDD game. Swole. Here it comes. It's been working out. You missed leg day though. This is what happens when you skip leg day. It's unfortunate. I wouldn't wish it upon anyone. Considering the purple fumes, he seems to have also skipped deodorant day, which is equally unfortunate. Food's coming with this too. I don't throw food. It's my weakness. Four fires defeats Kirby in there. Waddle D instantly. I can't really imagine D. Uh, Wispy Woods instantly. I can't really imagine what would do that for like DDD here. I was expecting a thoroughly small DDD, but it's what happened when you missed leg day. The food! No! He's a penguin, they're not known for having legs. I guess so. He doesn't really have wings either though, so he's not very good at being a penguin, honestly. You can have swole, like, flippers. <laughs> Alright, let's, let's try this one at KO on, on, uh, Wispy. Hmm. Yeah, so I guess there's, like, unique puzzle pieces that you get, uh, in each level. I yeah, saw this. Um... And then there's a bunch of random ones, which is just like the, it, it, I was right, it's exactly like the uh, keychains. Because there were keychains in the 3DS games that some were in specific places only, and some you, uh, you could just get randomly. Hello, father. Hello, son. I mean, I guess even him being, like, having legs would be weird, but... Well, it vibrates when you have food in your mouth. Simulate the Kirby jiggle. <laughs> oh no! Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, it's 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 better this way. Did you see? He looked appalled when I took his hat. That's what happens if you remove the hat from a toad. I guess we need to make sure we have fire, so that when I see fire, I'll just make four fire people immediately. I've even got stitching on my hat now, I think. No bomb swords. I've actually played games where bomb is an element. I can't think offhand exactly what game it was. Uh, there's definitely games where bomb is in fact an element. You know, I want, I want, uh, give. How do I? Oh, come on, no, I want you. All right, I was wondering if that's how that worked. It's so weird to me that Kirby, Bomb Kirby has the dunce hat now. 
made so much sense that he had the, the, the pop the poppy bros hat thinger. Looks like Link. Yes, it's that is in fact the reference. Um, there's a few other uh, references too in this, like uh, Yo-Yo is basically Ness, and so is the ESP power. So Ness has two powers now. But yeah, he is he's Link. I mean, based off Link. Hey, even the um, even the Blade Knights get the uh, get the Link's hat. I didn't notice that before. Just all be fire, I guess. Yeah, they, they changed um, with Return to Dreamland. They changed all the hats, so everything is unique now. Because I mean, Kirby Superstar, a lot were just recolors of each other because you know. SNES limitations, um, which is kind of a shame in some cases. I kind of, oh, I see. Oh, it gives you second chances, but that's fine. I'll do that. Um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, but I kind of like that Kirby changed colors with some power-ups. Like uh, he turned brown for stone, and he turned blue for ice. It was, you know. It was palette swaps to, uh, you know, make up for lack of fully different sprites, but it was, it was neat. Sometimes stuff like that is cool. But, uh, I totally understand why they wanted every hat to be... Every ability is differentiated by only a hat. Because with Return to Dreamland, there were, um... I think it looks weird without face mask. Um... With Return to Dreamland, they had to make it so that only you could determine ability only from the hat, because there were the four different colored Kirby's. Though now, of course, we have different colored enemies, but it's just kind of tradition, I guess, at this point. Why am I bothering to put one ops in the demo? Also, that is, I think, the exact graphic from the Super the, uh, it's a good graphic, but um, the Japanese cover of Kirby um, uh, Canvas Curse. Let me. Wait, what? It's a little edited, but it's a reference to this little friend. Oh, whoa, you can reverse? I have gained a power, a new power. I don't know you could do that. Huh. But yeah. That's this. This was the, uh, I used. Isn't there a full version of this somewhere? Yeah, that's an icon I used for, um, Kirby Packs for a while. I really like that, uh, the art style on that. I think Kirby's Canvas Curse is something... Yeah, Kirby's Canvas Curse is called something different in every single region. Um, it's Touch Kirby in Japanese. It's Kirby's Canvas Curse in uh, North America. And it's Power Paintbrush in the EU for some reason. It's not uncommon to have a different name in Japanese and English, but to have a different name in every region is kind of weird. They all have different covers, too. Or I think the power paintbrush is kind of just an edited version of Canvas Grace 1. I like this theme. Um, it sounds familiar. It probably is a remix of something, but I... As much as I love Kirby music, I'm bad with, like, understanding musical references unless I get them pointed out. Especially when it's like a really lo-fi like track made into something like super orchestral and stuff. I, I'm just like, huh. Like once I'm pointed out, once it's pointed out and I can listen to one track next to the other, like I totally get it, but I'm pretty bad at picking up on things first go. I think 
Return to Dreamland also started the uh, the pop flowers thing, which I didn't know how to name until that very loading tip. That was a very fortuitous loading tip. But yeah, all the 3DS games have that too. No thanks, we're gonna just be very cruel to poor old Wispy here. I like the little, uh, cut-in things. What is this? Oh no, he's burning! Take a salt tablet. <laughs> Poor Wispy. We beat him up every game. And now we set him on fire. Doesn't even preserve your puzzle pieces. Not that I really expected the demo to. I love that you can see stars in Kirby's eyes now. Can you see that in normal in-game? Nah, I can. Yeah, that's a nice style touch for the uh, the cover art and stuff. I'm so glad they brought back the, uh, the like enemy friends thing. That was so cool in Superstar. I hope this game has... I, I doubt it does because, you know, Nintendo, but... Um, I hope this has like online co-op so I can play. That would be the one thing that would get me to pay money for like a Nintendo online thing. Is co-op online Kirby. Cause I don't really, I'm not really a huge fan of most, most Nintendo multiplayer stuff. He was fine, he was crying and he was like, oh come on man. I guess you just made it. Can't wait for this to become the true final boss in Epic Revenge Plot. He wasn't, um, he was at least a non-final boss, or a non-first boss in, uh, um, Epic Yarn, right? I want that spider ability. Alright, um, uh, do I want to keep streaming? I don't know. I kind of had a headache when I left work, so I was gonna kind of planning on a short stream, stream, but it's kind of leaving. I don't know. I don't know what else what else to play though. Um, hmm. it says mystery game. It, yeah, I, I put mystery game because I had no idea what I was playing, what I was gonna play. I actually didn't plan to do the Star Allies demo. I didn't know the Star Allies demo was. Um, was there. Uh, I've already played Odyssey a few times for the channel. Um, I kind of run out of fun things to do. There's just weird, annoying stars left. I, I kind of... I think Mario Odyssey would be better, honestly, if it, if it reduced the amount of stars by maybe, like, half. Because it just takes so long. Octopath. Um... Do I still have that demo? I haven't even started the demo of that. That's some RPG thing from Square Enix. I think it's not even like the final name of it. Um, I would play weird games, but I um, usually those are fairly short and I want to do those in little self-contained videos. Um, 
Maybe we'll play something else on Switch here, though. I don't know. Throw in your suggestions in the chat. I'm going to be in. I'm going to be... I'll be back in a minute here. Play Call of Duty, play Minecraft, you're all banned. You're all banned. Play Yumi Nikki. That's an idea, but we're gonna do more, like, um, we're gonna do, like, a bunch of Yumi Nikki fan games for, um, uh, Halloween Kamiko. It has been a while. Did I do a Kamiko video? On the channel? I forget if I did. I think I did. I guess I could show Kamiko. Why did a bunch of people show up while I was doing the BRB? <laughs> I know you were joking, but I'm... S I, I knew you were joking, but yes. Um... I guess it's been a while since I played Kamiko. Ugh. So I had to make a second user to make a save file in Breath of the Wild, and then I didn't even play it. Um, so now it asks me every time I launch a game which one I want to play as. I prefer how the PlayStation 4 handles the profiles. By the way, free tip on both PS4 and Wii U, um, any game has infinite save files as long as you make different profiles. Yeah, Kamiko's really good. It's short, but it's also, you know, five bucks. Um, I think it saved my progress. Um, I think I like the... No ten dollars necessary? No, it's five bucks for this. I wanted to Kamiko. Uh, Kamiko's pretty good. Very good pixels and um, we'll see combat here in a bit. We don't need to. Oh, I can't skip this, I guess. <coughs> oh, ten does. Uh, oh, oh, I know what you're referencing. Yeah. So Metal Gear Survive, you have to pay ten bucks to get another save file. See, so, yeah, the story is you are Trine Maiden. You are John Trine Maiden. You. Uh, Gotta go do stuff. The music's really good too. So this is like the most complicated character, I guess you would say. Your first attack throws the shield, then you do this little tiny short sword attack. And 
and uh, the shield does a little more damage, but it's a little harder to control. There's also a plain swordswoman, who's the first one, and there's an archer, who's the second character. The game's pretty short, but you'll definitely want to play through all the different uh, characters. Also, I like the enemy designs. They're, they're really simple, but really uh, kind of charm to them. So there's lots of little puzzles, which is why I don't know exactly what genre you would quite call this. Like, I guess it's mostly like a top-down action kind of game. But your goal in all these areas is to find five... things to uh, activate a, a secondary thing. Excuse me. Excuse me. You can't attack when you're carrying the orb of doom. There we go. Ow. Also, the red things in the top left are my health, so I don't have any much health. Key. Uh, these things. You gotta f fix the five Shinto gates. Those are the MacGuffins. <laughs> it's those like frisk from Undertale. This is the like girl with the sword that they obviously it's like kind of 8-bit sort of sprites, so um Whereas the, the kind of the title art is a little higher resolution. But... Come on, this, guy, this game kind of has this game doesn't really bill itself as 8-bit, but it actually it genuinely has like more of the color like I think they probably don't perfectly follow the 8-bit limitations because that's a real pain in the butt to do but um, it uh, tends to have the whole four color aesthetic thing going on 8-bit by the way just as a shorthand think of 8-bit generally like NES sort of 8-bit anyway is four colors uh, the Sega Master System actually did have more colors a lot of stuff pretends to be 8-bit and it's not even remotely close. Oh, on. So you gotta kill enemies to get energy to uh, power back the Shinto gates. And enemies respawn forever. And you get a lot more energy if you uh, have a combo going. This game is really fun to do speedruns for because uh, you gotta kind of manage your energy, which enemies you kill. Danji? Haven't heard of that, actually. Did I hear some peeking there? I Something's gotta be wrong with my audio setup. I keep hearing peeking, but it's only when I do... certain stuff. I think there was a thing I had to do a long time ago to fix peeking. I must have undone it. I completely forget the way to go. Oh, wait. just because my wake effect. Um, my audio system setup is fairly complicated, so probably something that's just set up too loud or using a lower quality cable or something. Ugh. Yeah, that, that sound is definitely messed up.
problem with audio issues is that unless you know exactly what a thing is supposed to sound like, it can be really hard to tell there even is an issue. Like, uh, my PS4, or I guess it was just my HDMI output settings in general, uh, had an issue, and I didn't notice until I played Bunny Must Die. There's this extremely good track that I've listened to uh, just hundreds of times, and it, uh, I was like, wait a minute, this is, this is wrong, there's no way they got this, this badly, right? That's right, Parker. And so, uh, I found out my audio issue because of that. Hello, yes? I'll probably do one Kamiko run now. And, uh, call it quits here. I can't wait for people to be garbage idiots over the, um, the, uh, the Undertale announcement. Oh my god, Undertale has the most bad bat ever! And I understand whether it was lower, Undertale was winning. <laughs> Parker looks alarmed and horrified. It's okay, Parker. I have not become a fanboy. The Undertale discourse is some of the worst discourse. And gaming always has the worst discourses. It's, it's a true shame. But like, oh no, somebody on Tumblr liked the thing a little too much. Oh no. Oh no, somebody made porn of a video game. This is the first time that's ever happened in the history of mankind. Awkward confession, the first time I played this game, I didn't, I, I saw these two items and I figured like, oh, you have to choose whether you get health or the thing. So I only picked up one, <laughs> but you can get both. But yeah. This is the first little boss fight against the Reaver bot. Well, I think Undertale launched on PS4 and people weren't too, like, dickholish about it. There we go. Alright, how do I do the thing? There's a thing. I'm afraid to press the button now. I think it's X. Or Y. Whatever the top button is, I hate. <laughs> Referring to button configurations on controllers is such a pain in the butt. There's an X on all three controllers, but it's in a different spot every, on every single controller. Oh, it's not X. Is it hold? Oh, okay, you gotta hold it, I see. You can also spend your the, the blue energy on uh, this attack that I'll show you in just a second here. As soon as the enemy reveals itself. Oh, come on. oh no. Get it! Hers is actually kind of weak because it, it's kind of like a full screen clear, but it only hits enemies once. Um, with other people, you can do a lot more damage with single target. Which tends to be better for bosses. But hers is more like... Uh, Lots of enemies at once. Really love the uh, aesthetic of this game too. The enemies and environments just look really good. Nothing else sounds peaky other than that one sound though. But I think because I was having peaking issues with the other game with uh, Black Rock Shooter last night, so I think it is an issue. Oh, by the way, if you're wondering why chat is not on screen, so, yeah, that sound is definitely messed up, I think. Definitely, I definitely think it's messed up. Definitely, but only possibly. Um, oh no. Just gotta activate this first. Um, 
So yeah, YouTube has chat replay now, and after a false alarm where I took off chat, and then it turned out I didn't actually have it yet, um, I now actually do have, I don't remember where to take this. Um, I do actually have chat replay. So when you watch this video on, uh, oh. Okay, I think I take this in here. kind of unfortunate because it raises the mood but like I kind of like the gloomy look. It's quiet tonight. What's going on everybody? I had a kind of a bled like bo mostly boring more than anything but headachey day. I, I guess I more have a headache because of all the dumb crap in the news. I've been trying to completely avoid the news. It's very difficult to do that though. But like this is a whole ESA thing, you know, meeting with, you know, Jack Thompson 2.0. Like, oh my god, the kids playing the Ninja Games! You gotta stop the kids from playing the Ninja Games! They gotta you know, shoot people! Uh, don't do anything about the guns, though. It's not their fault. That's definitely not the white supremacy thing, either. It's the Ninja Games! Ah! Frogman! I don't remember Mr. Frogman. Why, why is it the 90s? Like, what what happened? Like, this was supposed to be de a dead issue 10 years ago. It's a dead issue. Ow. Yeah. You have a pretty tight timing on that one. Vigi games. The Vigi games made the game itself violent, which killed me. I come back and everybody's super quiet. Uh oh, did I? No, I'm good. None of the characters are named Kimiko. It's a little bit peaky in this teleport sound. So maybe I'll use that to try and debug here. No stream issues today either. I mean, I've dropped about 0.4% of frames. But that's reasonable. Oh, that sound. I wish I could replay that sound on loop to, to, to like help me debug it. Cause that sound is definitely messed up. Yeah, the movement ends up being very interesting because enemies are constantly spawning in. So even if you know an area super well, uh, there might be an enemy in your way you need to move around. something on the left there, or the right, whichever direction. Excuse me. Alright. I wish you didn't have to watch that animation every time. Oh, rip. Oh, hey! We actually made it. I usually just assume pretty much any mistake will make that. This is one of those games that has like a built-in like speedrun kind of info. Alright, this thing got me super stuck. 
for the longest time, but this is a, this is a hit right here. There's a, there's, a, there's a block. You can tell because there's like shadowness. Like ground scrape dealers. is like mostly gone, but it's just replaced with tired. Is my chat not refreshing? Or... Oh, my chat was not refreshing. Cool. Great. <laughs> oh wait, no, no, that's just... My chat was not refreshing and I had no idea. That's cool. Um, so that's unfortunate. <laughs> I was probably like, why is nobody talking? And everyone's like, hi, hey, Tap Tap. Like, why is, why is Tap Tap somebody ignoring me this? Oh no. What was that voice I did? Which voice? I don't know, I just do stupid voices. I, I generally don't think before I pick a voice. I'm just like, I need I need to make fun of somebody stupid. I'm gonna do a voice now. And the voice just happens. Spontaneous generation within my, my brain mix. Sorry, games are some of my favorite. Yeah, I really like. Oh, there we go. I really like pixel art that has you know a good style and stuff. It gets a bad rep because you know games that just don't even try to look good, and, and people like think that oh, if we make all games 3D, all games will look good. And it's like no, a guy who made an ugly 3D or an ugly pixel art game, they're gonna make an ugly 3D game. In fact, if anything, it would probably be even uglier as a 3D game. Do the Undertale voice. I don't know. I, I can't think of the voice now. Hold on, let me go. Is this some weed hacker shit? Hold on. I that was like 20 minutes ago. Why did I have to sign into chat? Oh, did everybody like had to re go into chat? It sounded like Bill Cosby. I said the YouTube video. I don't know what you're referring. I would have to view the video again to be able to do the voice. I don't. Um... So this is one of the characters or the bosses where. The shield ability really comes in handy. Uh, Alright, I forgot. I kind of forgot he did that. Uh, I'm, I scrolled back in chat. I should remember to, like, if nothing seems like it's being said in chat, I should just refresh the thing. Why didn't it tell me it was disconnected or something? Damn, like, 95% of 3D stuff is a goddamn awful ugly. Pretty much, yeah. Okay, did everybody have... start but only then but when did you start just feature the chat feature right now maybe but i would think that mostly is like an after the stream kind of thing and they're both i do know that youtube has been having trouble so apparently my issues last night people were saying they're having trouble streaming due to youtube's api so they had better luck streaming with the rtmp uh, custom RTMP settings instead, which I completely forgot to do actually. So, I don't know, if there was YouTube API problems that caused bad streamness, uh, maybe they're fixed now because I'm not having that problem.
Oh, I love Mega Man ZX and Z uh, ZX Advent. This is, those are pretty much my two favorite Mega Man games, really. did leave uh, the on-stream chat thing on, uh, I would have noticed the things. Or actually, maybe I wouldn't have. Maybe, because maybe I would have had to refresh the on-stream one, too. So never mind. So it wasn't Mediacom? It might not have been Mediacom yesterday. Mega Man ZX Advance, hand down my favorite DS game. Oh, I might... I might say so too, it's a really fantastic game. I really hope that they would at least bring those to like 3DS or Wii U as like virtual console or like, you know, a collection of uh, the first two games. And for Pete's sake, give us ZX to 3. I don't really want Mega Man 11. It's just, you know, it's cool to get more Mega Man stuff, but like, the classic wank, I. I was really never in on the classic one, even when classic was just Mega Man. I mean, I didn't have an NES in the game, but... Mega Man 7, it was like, alright. But... Mega Man X and X4, like, hell yeah. I don't know why, but I never had... I never even was, like, aware of the existence of Mega Man... Um, 2, X, 2, and 3. I really love the ZX series, and the Zero series are really good. I actually have a stream, I think, of Mega Man Zero 1. I didn't do the full game, but maybe someday, someday I'll have to stream the Mega Man Zero and uh, ZX games. They're just really dang good. Are they ever gonna do like a Mega Man X collection, like the, the, the... The whatever ones, the legacy collection things. They better not split it up by console, that was dumb. Like, I think, like, like legacy collection 2 no longer can be, like... Yeah. Wait, does legacy collection 2 go all the way up to 10? I mean, not, those aren't the legacy games, but, like, they are doing the next collection. Oh yeah, zero four. Dang. Ow. Up, 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 up. I'm supposed to break these first. Oh yeah, I have the PS2 uh, X collection, but like. Uh -oh. that, that, that chat thing was weird because like usually when you disconnect from chat, there'll at least be a little message that tells you, "Oh no." You disconnected, I'll reconnect you. But I had to do a full refresh there. Thank you, Mokka. The one will have all of them, even seven. Oh, that's cool. I was really hoping they wouldn't split it up. See, I've never got to play Mega Man X8. One of the more frustrating things is these little trap rooms. You gotta redo them every time you go through, so... Something in routing is trying to kind of... Another one right there. Is that gonna have maybe a download code? Really? There's, there's no way they can't fit all of those. Like even on a, even a switch cart should be able to fit all of those. Be able to stream. I did. I got. I ordered my new router today, so it'll be here Saturday. I'll have a or not router. Um, modem. Where's the ZFCs? 
Yeah, and they, Capcom was like one of the better ones in terms of how they handled VC, but we still never got the uh, ZX games. I have a feeling like they wanted to go in all chronological order and do it all super slow, and the Wii U was just dead by the time it would have been time for uh, the Zero games and the ZX. And then, obviously they should put them on the VC on Switch, right? Ha <laughs> ha 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 I swear, I... The SNES Classic and all that stuff, neat, but like... I would trade all of that. I would toss every single one of those things in a freaking flaming pyre for Virtual Console on Switch. Like, they're, they're, they're neat novelty toys, but like... Actually distribute the games properly, please. I'm, I'm not gonna spend $18,000 on eBay. To, you know, Uncle Jim 65. To just to be able to play, you know, Yoshi's Island again. How the, the hate for the, for the X games has like evolved. Like five used to be like, oh, that's the worst thing ever, and then it was six, and then seven showed us, showed us that yeah, you have not seen anything. Like the, the, not, the, the, those were all like relatively bad, but like bad, like Mega Man X five. It's still better than most games that try to be Mega Man that are not made by like into creates. It's not better than like the Dark Witch games. I don't know where I'm going at this point. Uh, it's been a while since I played this. I think I've missed some stuff over here. If you do like Mega Man uh, games, though, Legend of Dark Witch and Mighty Gun Bolt are uh, really good. There we go. And don't let regular Mighty Number no. Nine convince you that Mighty Gun Bolt must be the same. Just, just ignore that. Focus on the Gun Bolt. I didn't like Gunball as much as the Zero games. Yeah, 5 really wasn't that bad. Um, I Some of the bosses were bleh. Um, the levels were alright. And it was still that good engine. 6 doesn't make any sense. And, and five, the worst thing about 5 is that stupid countdown mechanic. That is dumb. That is bad. Something the X Games kind of tried to make you do was like insert like moral decisions and crap. Like the the, the first one is kind of really dumb, where you you, you got to kill Zero to get the better guns. Like what the hell is that? And then X Five is like, oh, will you save the world? And like, will the bad thing happen? Oh no! And then there's the saving Zero in X Two, was it or three? Um, and then. Six does the weird, like, ghost zero. It's like, all of that stuff sucks. Even in the good games, that stuff was never good. <laughs> like, I'm sorry, e even in X1, it was stupid. All of that was always bad. I don't know why they kept doing it. Like, they tried to have, like, dramatic decisions and crap, and it's just like, no. Oh no, will you kill zero for the 17,000th time? And they always made killing Zero like the cannon one. It's like, God damn it! How many times has Zero died now? At least like four or five. Just, no. So where's this key? Oh, it's right. It's right. It's here. X7 with the amazing voice clips. I don't even remember the voice clips in X7. I didn't get very far in that. I think I rented that. And I think I sold it right back pretty quickly. I got burned to the ground! That was, was that X7? I forget which one. It was, it was either seven or six. Burn, 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 burn to the ground, burn to the ground! <laughs> if you didn't know, let me find this. There's dumb people on Twitter again. The only thing that you can do to solve that situation is to mute that account and then close Twitter. 
gonna finish this level and I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show you how to burn to the ground. Ow. I'm dying squirrel. Oh no. Forget where the thing is to leave. It's somewhere, I'll find it eventually. The levels aren't even that big. How am I this lost? It's gotta be over to the left. Oh, there it is. There it is. There it is. Let me show you how to burn to the ground. Not that, not that they've ever really had particularly great voice acting in um, Mega Man. The Legends was all right, honestly. Like it's not like you know Steven Spielberg directs you know Mega Man, but it was perfectly fine. The Mega Man Legend stuff. Uh, I don't know how that came out right next to Mega Man Eight and X Four. Um, <laughs> this is a very fitting place, but yeah, let me find this. All right, all right. I'm gonna try to not deafen you the, the button. Burn, burn guys, you gotta burn. <laughs> not edited by the way, he, this, it just, it actually sounds like that. It actually sounds like that in the game. That's what happens when you don't have any, like, you know, any logic that says, like, all right, maybe don't have this guy say the same thing eight times in a row and interrupt his own voice clip with the same voice clip again. What am I missing? What was that? What? Was that too quiet again? Why is... what? Did you not hear that? Oh, you heard it. I just don't know what it was. Oh, I thought I we explained that was that was Flame Hyenard from Mega Man X7. I, st I told you I was gonna I was gonna show everybody. It. Yeah, it's just the finest achievement of voice acting. Not even voice acting, but it's just voice mixing or like a sound design, I guess. I really like the design of these duders. They remind me a little bit of Reaver bots, but not really super directly. I love me some Reaver bots. Freaking. That reminds me, I just. Every time I stream, I think of like. Like when I'm not streaming, I'm like, man, I have no idea what I'm gonna stream today. And then while I am streaming, I'm like, oh man, I wanna stream this game someday. I wanna stream this other game. I wanna stream. Yeah. Mega Man Legends 1 and 2, I should stream at some point. We'll just stream every Mega Man game at some point. Maybe not most of the classic ones, though. Maybe we'll do two. And, um... Eight, because I can beat it. See, Mega Man 8, I mean, it doesn't get the most hate or anything, but, um... I like Mega Man 8 because I could beat it. It had, like, features that allowed me to actually beat the game. Earlier Mega Man games, less so. And I didn't have to enter passwords for it. Oh my god. Mega Man X7, that was... Or, not X7. Mega Man non-X. Regular Mega Man 7. Regular Man 7. Has anyone played The Witch's House? Um, is that that RPG Maker horror thing that's, like, really pink? I think I, or is that Huntress in the Hollow? Either way, I think I have both of those. I love the trees in this area, by the way. Especially the magenta ones over there. Um, but uh, I think I have that in my collection. I'm stuck to stream at some point.
but I have a serene, like, post-apocalyptic vibe in this area, like, sacred trees and so forth. Or maybe they're like Mega Man trees. I always love the, speaking of aesthetics, I always love the Mega Man X aesthetic of like, technology merging with nature. And uh, there's some really interesting dark places that take that whole thing through the Mega Man Zero um, and uh, ZX arc. I mean, it's there in the, the X stuff too, but it's kinda, there's a lot less story in the Mega Man X games than there is in Zero and ZX. It's kind of weird. People are like, Mega Man has a story? It's like, yes, the, the X games have always had a story. Like, for what it was, even Mega Man X1 had a moderate amount of storiness going on. I mean, it had more story than any Mega Man game had prior. Like, it had literally any, a single line of dialogue. Which, I mean, outside of the intro cutscene. I think was unique, but I never, I didn't play all of the classic Mega Mans. Mega Mans. Uh, excuse me. These things look like portal turrets. Oh no! Hold on. I need this. You're the Kermit. Oh no. Um, there we go. I kind of like these little chase scenes you got to do with the uh, while you're holding the orb. Oof. There's a lot of close calls, but it's not really like ridiculously hard usually. Tried nothing and we're all out of ideas. See, this stuff, I love this stuff. The like little things drifting down into oblivion. Love that stuff. I think pixel art is kind of unique in its supportiveness of this kind of surreal look. That Kind of forces you to reinterpret what you're looking at. Like Yumi Nikki uh, Dream Diary, I think loses a lot of that, which is a shame because the original is really rife with that kind of stuff. Hey, we don't have a Kermit emote yet. I'll do a Kermit emote if I can do that without getting sued. I think a Parker emote would probably be among our first. Actually, what should be our first things? Oh, I'm sorry, he's Carlos, the, the amphibian. Legally distinct from Kermit the Frog. Just MLG Pro Frog. Pro Frogger. Remember when Frogger was a big thing? Most people probably don't, but like... It turns out there was like Frogger like rejuvenation games. Like there's like a Frogger PS2 game where like, he's back in Pog form. And it's like, yeah. All right, there's secrets in this game too, by the way, um, which give you a little bit more playability. I think one of them is like, yeah. There's these secrets that you get. I think they're like the developer's avatars or something. PS1 Frogger guys is actually pretty great. There's this PS2 one though that's really terrible. It like tries to turn it into a platformer and you've got like a great fairy frog mother and it's like not anything remotely like Frogger in any way, shape, or form. I watched Vinny from Vine Sauce play it, so. Yeah. Ugh! Ugh! Only 23 meters! Excuse me. 
It's easy to forget how little her dinky sword does. It's usually... I mean, it depends on how you play, but usually... You're beating stuff instantly with your shield. Am I still on island? I've lit too. So yeah, I think I have the Kamiko, which will probably be in... I don't know. 20 minutes. Uh, I'll probably be done for the night here. I'm a little bit tired. I don't know. Oh, so this is one of the harder ones. I mean, it's... I think the last level, so... It makes sense to be... Last not lost level, anyway. Um... It's a little hard to get into that one, but yeah, this is a pain in the butt to get the key to. Hello, yes! Excuse! I am doing things! I am doing things. The way too human frogger? Was there a human frogger? How do you do fellow froggers? I, I need to see this human frogger. Real human frogger. Alright, where, where was the key? On the other end of this. What is this? I think that was the crusher. Oh yeah, what's with the crate? What's with Crazy Frog, by the way? Like, why? Why does it have a penis, and why is it allowed to have a penis? Like, it was sold as like like on children's toys and stuff, and it has like an actual penis. It's like, what? Like, I don't, he's European. <laughs> Europeans are allowed to have penises. I guess. Oh, wait. It's this way? I think. Oh, yeah, it's down. Oh, oh no. Oh no, I've done a bad. These all have fairly predictable movement, so uh, maneuvering them around them unarmed is not the worst thing in the world. Yeah, they're the crazy fraud. Is that the annoying thing is how they marketed it or something? Yes, yeah, the the thing that goes. Like it's like a six-year-old making. Like, they just paid a six-year-old to be like, hey, make dumb noises into this microphone. And that's, that's how YouTube is made. That's still one more. Hello, what are you doing? No, that's my, what are you doing? Excuse you? What are you doing? What, 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 what? Calm. Ow. Alright, what am I missing? It's gonna be something to do with this thing. Oh wait, oh no! I left that thing. Ah! Oh. oh, I gotta go back. What are you doing? Do not eat. What are you eating? There's no foods for you there. Crazy Frog, the original YouTube poop. The original, like, bad YouTube poop. Like, not, not a good one. Seventeen? He was, he was seventeen? There's no way he was seventeen. There's no there's no way a post pubescent human being was involved with the creation of those sounds. There's a crazy they're crazy frog video games, by the way. I did a sneeze. <laughs> I, I just coughed instead of sneezing. Ugh. Must fix the peaking. I don't know what caused. I the, the, originally my peaking issues were caused by I think something was turned up too loud, but so now nothing goes up to even above 75% volume. I, I don't know what the deal is. Maybe a wire is touching another wire or something. I've had poorly insulated wires. Like if it was touching something else, sometimes you get some cross talk. 
should really just buy a bunch of really high quality 3.5 cables at some point. Is there a way to split out only audio from an HDMI thing, by the way? Because my biggest problem with recording the audio stuff is um, I have to route the HDMI into my monitor and then get the audio out of that. But my monitor, I mean, it's a monitor. It's not really designed to have good sound. So it's a little fuzzy. What game is this? Oh, this is Kamiko. I forgot to put that. I forgot to change the title. Oh, and the unfortunate thing about the chat replay thing is if I split games, um, the chat replay will not work. If I, I like, if I trim the video, so I can't trim live streams anymore. Because if I do, we will lose chat. So I'll just leave. If there's ever like a, a, a major gap at the very start of a stream, which generally would not be the case, um, I'll like leave the like you know, stream starts at X kind of thing. Like the game stuff, quick stuff does. Yeah, unfortunately, I, I don't think I can edit out gaps in streams anymore for the VODs because uh, because of the live chat thing, which is a shame. But it's still, I prefer this to uh, having to burn in the, in the chat. I never like that. Just how the chat looks on stream was just like another annoyance to deal with. Plus, this way, if somebody gets banned for, like, trolling and stuff, because the the, uh, the replay is generated on the fly, if a troll gets banned, they're banned and removed from the replay as well. Whereas, if the chat is burned into the stream, uh, they stay on there. So, it's even better for anti-trolling, too. Number one best way to beat trolls, by the way. Make trolling less fun. Make it less effective. Yeah, this is Kamiko, it's really good. Bloop. Yeah, the boss designs are really cool. Hello, dear god boss. So this one you need to use your power to like expose the weakness for, and for this character only, um, like your your special attack is supposed to out, uh, do some damage to it as well. But for this character only, since it kind of goes in that spiral and never hits the same area twice, uh, she has a slight disadvantage. It doesn't matter a great deal. I just watched the ritual last night. And watched some time. I also like these like ominous eye spear duders. So you kind of just have to wait there for a second for it's still. Oh dear god. Exactly. Yeah, the game is is really beautiful. Um, Some of the better pixel art on the Switch, I would say. And it already has a lot of really great pixel art games. Like, that, I want to show, uh, as soon as I beat the boss, like, I think over half the games I have for Switch are pixel art. And it's all, like, good pixel art. It's not, like, you know, the mo cynical mobile game. Oh. It's not that cynical mobile game. Yeah, it's pixels, guys. Oh. I can't draw, so I use pixel art. It's, like, good. So it gets a bad rap just because of that, you know, lazier stuff. Oh, right. Uh -oh. I got, you gotta love the super wide laser attack. Which doesn't make much sense because the whole thing about lasers is that they're very focused light. So I'm not really sure it would even be physically possible to have, you know, a wide laser. Okay, whatever. 
Maybe it's a it's a beam, not a laser. That's always the excuse. I love this little seeming meta reference here. Shit, okay. All is well. Was there another hack or something? Well, shit. File sh I hate when people upload this stuff to file share websites, especially game developers. Like, it, unless you're legally not able, like if you're doing like a Nintendo fan game, like I like these little um, going through the different zones and like there's people there again and all this stuff. I love when endings show you a little, you know, here's how things went. Kind of like that Earthbound where you can just wander through and just talk to. Like, absolutely every NPC in the game. Though a lot of them don't actually have dialogue changes. But a lot of them do. But yeah. I like seeing the actual effects of what you did, not being like, you know, you beat the big thing! Okay, uh, credits. And leave now. I'll forever hold your peace. It's so ever do. I was trying to download... Oh, it was Facade, actually. It was this, like, fancy AI game from, like, 2006. And it's, like, really dumb. Um, and <laughs> I go to the FileShare website, and, um... There's, like, five different ads pretending to be the download button. And it's all terrible. Ugh. And that was, I think that was on, like, Mediafire. That was, like, one of the more reputable ones like there's even worse ones which is kind of hard to believe but don't use media fire please use mega if you must like i don't know why so many is there a reason that mega tends to not be used and they still use media fire and that stuff it's like mega is not like you know world's most reputable thing ever but like i i, I trust to be able to actually download a thing from mega um whereas media fire just get, you know, virusdolphin.exe. What was that, by the way? There was some game or something that was distributed with, like, a dolphin. And the, the icon's name was, like, not a virus, just a dolphin. Yeah, I really like Kamiko. So it has little stats how long you took. I really like the main character designs too. They obviously, you can't see most of them in game because you're like 10 pixels tall or less. But yeah. They do. Um, and this is published by Circle Entertainment. They publish a lot of good. Uh, they tend to publish the uh, Dark Witch games, which are also really good uh, little Japanese indie titles. Oh yeah, but let's see how many pixel art games we have. We've got Axiom Verge, Cave Story, um, Brave Dungeon and Dark Witch Combat are both pixel art. I don't know if you want to count those two or not, but Mighty Gunvolt Burst and Kimiko. So, yeah, just about half. Yeah, I need to do a video Graceful Explosion Machine too sometime. Um, that's pretty cool, but I think I'm done for the night. Um, allergies are bugging me for one thing. This game's lost on because people left it on a fire sharing light. Yeah, this... Ugh. That's why I was thinking of doing like a abandoned game rescue service, like in a special account on HEO or something. 
and like uploading open source games that didn't live. But yeah, um, <coughs> excuse me. Um, that'll be it for me tonight. Oh, Mediacom, Mediacom, Mediacom. No, I'm just I'm ending the stream, Mediacom. You don't have to kill me. <laughs> yeah, we had some drops. Yeah, unfortunately, we're gonna end the stream anyway. But yeah, uh, good night everybody. I'll probably stream. Wait, is it is it Wednesday or Thursday? It's been one of those weeks. It's Thursday? Huh. Yeah, somebody's been missing at work, and it hasn't been um, too bad. But I just feel you just feel extra pressure on you, especially when you're in IT. Because like I don't, I'm not the phone answer guy, but everybody in IT is kind of like de facto. If nobody can get to the phone. You got to pick it up and like try to help them. Uh, so every time we're down a person, it's like, oh no, please do not call. Please do not have issues. You have to sign in again. Weird. And I didn't get that issue again where like the chat just froze. That was weird. But yeah, if, if chat ever stops talking for like five minutes at a time, I'll just have to refresh again. And see if that fixes it. So yeah, um... And pop off and see everybody probably tomorrow and this weekend hard time that's gonna be real fun hard time saturday 6 p.m uh do not miss hard time that'll be that'll be a treat i think <laughs>